People have been asking on the forum pages about penetration testing and about focusing the laser. What I have here are two um, pieces of plywood and these pieces are um, they're a common birch ply material and uh, they are you can see they're five millimeters thick and this one here is obviously the same. There you go. So what we have here, right here I ran this particular top black line here at first at 95% at 15 millimeters per second travel speed. The middle line I did at 30% and the bottom line I did at 50%. So I got 30, 50, and 95%. Now these particular lines show the distance from this surface to the bottom of my laser tube that holds the lens which means this was slanted like so. And when you set this up, you just take a little tiny block of wood and you put on this end. You know, it doesn't have to be that big, but it gives you an idea. The laser head starts out and it's very, very close, and then as it travels, it gets further and further away until at the end, the distance is much higher. You can see here where the beam has narrowed down. You can see it getting wider down here, wider up here. This center section is the optimal surface focus point. And you can see that for my particular 38.1 millimeter lens that's 18 millimeters in diameter, between 16 and 19 and a half millimeters is the optimum spot. Now you say, well, is that true for all powers and all speeds? Well, for the most part, yes it is. If I flip this over, you will see three marked lines for those particular heights and you'll see the penetration of where the laser went through. Now, if you're going to whole hog it at the 95%, you're just blasting through the material and you get quite a bit of penetration. But on five millimeter stuff, even down here at the, uh, what would be 50% on the very bottom, which when you flip it over becomes the top, the 50% is a little bit less penetration than the 95. And the center cut, is the 30 percent and it's even smaller but as you see between 16 and 19 and a half is the middle of where we're getting the best penetration for this particular material okay here's another one I did this one here I was five millimeters above that surface with the nozzle that means I was right on top of it this one down here at that line I was 19 and a half millimeters and you can see this was cut at 18 millimeters per second at 55 percent power level. So from 14 to 19 was the recommended height above the material for that particular lens. Just looking at the surface it looks like down here is getting to be a, mo a more finer uh, resolution but in reality that is the only place I got full penetration. That lies between those two lines which are right there and that just happens to be just a little over 16 millimeters from the surface to the height or to the bottom of the lens so that height is the optimal for cutting through this particular hard piece of plywood so anyway I hope that clarifies some of it and if you get a piece of old scrap like this it it doesn't have to be this it could be it could be a piece of a hobby board like this if you've got a lot of power um, you know it could be just anything that you have that, that you want to do a test on Lay your piece on a small block like that and make sure that your nozzle is close at one end and far away at the other and somewhere in the middle you travel across. You can take your height gauges and you can set them in there and you can see exactly and mark exactly what the height is. Then when you do a test and you flip it over you'll be able to have a better understanding of where your premium and optimal focus point is for the different processes that you want to do. So there's your quick five minute video on doing a slanted board penetration test.